Today I'm going to try the best way to replace the sky without using masking and tune the colors to match the foreground and background in the free Snapseed app. We can notice here the color contrast between the background and the foreground colors. This makes the process more easier. First I need to change the image to black and white. To do that first I am going to increase the saturation to the maximum to make the colors more pronounced. Next with the black and white filter I am going to choose the blue color in the color options which makes the sky brighter and the foreground more dark. Also choosing contrast here. Now to turn the contrast to the maximum, trying here to literally turn this to black and white with curves moving the lower part towards right to make the background completely black and upper part towards left to make the rest white. Next again with curves I'm gonna invert it by moving the endpoints to the adjacent corners. I'm going to save this which is later needed but for now I'm going to delete this effect. Next to delete the sky from the original I'm going to use the double exposure tool to add the original image and choose add for the blend mode which completely removes the sky. Again we'll save this for later usage. and delete it. So now we are back to the white background and black foreground. Now with the double exposure tool I am going to add a downloaded image which had a nice evening sky and choose dark and blend mode. Now we have added a new sky, zooming it and placing it to make it get a better light for the sky. Applying it. Next with the double exposure tool I am going to choose the earlier saved black background with the white foreground image and choose light and blend mode making the foreground completely white which makes adding the original foreground easier. Again with the double exposure tool I am going to add the earlier saved image where we turn the sky completely white choosing the darken mode to get the best result. So now we have seamlessly got the background sky without any minute masking work. Next we are going to create some unique tones to the foreground matching with the sky in the background. In the white balance menu increasing the temperature for warmer colors and just a little bit of red tint. Next going to masking, tapping on the stacks icon, UV edits, white balance and brush. Here with the effect disabled and brush value at 100, brushing on only the foreground to give it warm colors. Now using curves adding some brightness to the highlights to the overall image. Next to get the foreground more darker with the curves moving the top point of the curve down making the image almost completely dark here. Now with masking. I am going to give the foreground various levels of darkness starting from 25% of the effect at the top about 100% effect at the bottom which makes the image more interesting. Taking time to pop the sculptures on this chariot. 
now for selective filters. One on the stone chariot where I am going to increase the structure a lot. Bit of contrast. Decreasing the brightness just a little. One around here on the right to make that part of the foreground darker. Couple more selective filters to make the edges here on the sky more bright. Now some dodge and burn with the brush tool to get some light and shadows on the stone chariot. With the value at minus 5, brushing to make these parts more dark. With the positive value to make it more brighter. subtle difference here. Next to give the sky a little more pop using curves I am going to leave the blacks to make it bright. Adding some yellows by dragging the blue curve towards right. And a little red. Next with masking, applying the effect. Around here to give the image a bright evening light. So here are the changes after each effect applied and the final result. Thanks for watching.